Hello everyone, my name is Hisham. I'm the owner of Clemson Aeronautics where we make the riveting and dampening systems. Today is the second video for the elevators and uh, just to give you an update, yesterday I finished cutting all the foam using the trick that I had uh, printing uh, on um, uh, that uh, Avery paper uh, that we sticky paper instead of spraying glue and all that stuff that worked out very well uh, also I finished trimming my trim tab so this is what it looks like now from the side and I deburred it worked out really nice uh, the next um, step after that um, oh by the way I I tried to use the saw on that it did not work very well for me so I had to use the snips to do that uh, next step as per manual is bending these the the top surface uh, is bent down the bottom surface is bent up how do we know the top from the bottom this cut out this big cut out here is for the uh, servos for the trim tab and it's on the bottom so what I've done uh, they tell you put it on the edge of a table or something and that's what I've done right here I put it on the edge of there but I use two thick paint sticks because they have a nice straight edge I put one on the bottom and one on the top and I put a 2 by 4 and this clamp to hold it down and I had the bottom 2 by 4 go just slightly below the notch so by the time it makes the curve it will be at the top again here is supposed to make the bend right at the notch so I put that 2 by 4 uh, just a little bit to the left of that I adjusted the uh, that um, paint stick to be just a little bit on this side of that line so by the time it bends it comes out to that side of the line and we'll see we'll bend it and we'll see what happens and folks I bent it right here and put a nice little bit of radius in there it's really nice I'm gonna unclamp it and I'm gonna try and get it to 90 degrees uh, using my uh, pliers okay uh, you guys see me have this um, sitting in this fixture right here and what I done is I took this stick right here then I bent it this way just using my fingers my force and it came out beautiful and uh, as I said just go in a little bit from the line like this is the line right here you get, if you put the stick right here the curvature will come up on the other side but if you put the edge of the stick kind of the middle of the radius here and the middle of the radius here when it when it bends and forms that radius it comes right on it it came out beautiful just use the stick on it put pressure on the whole thing and it came down now I'm gonna use the hand seamer to get it to a perfect 90 and I'm gonna do it to uh, the other side too and now this is the initial bend that I done on the second one on the lower skin and as you can tell the maximum I can get it is probably bent at uh, 75 degrees so I still got 15 degrees to go so I'm just gonna use my hand seamer to fix that issue here
And this is what I was trying to tell you folks um, about how to gauge it. This area right here, when you look from behind, from this section, they're all the same. Okay, now you know it's parallel to the edge. Now, like you see, um, after I clamp the uh, hinge um, to this, uh, like the front spar um, of the uh, trim tab, the other end, I clamped it to the table. Now, it's, a, it's somewhat flimsy, so while I'm drilling, I have to hold with my finger up on it so it doesn't bend down So and, and take care while I'm drilling. I finished mesh drilling all the holes and I also trimmed the end as you can see over here and uh, what happened is I wanted to see if it moves okay and the clearance and all that stuff so what I done is I removed some clicos so the clicos are not in front of each other so it would be able to to turn this way with no problem so I put clicos in between clicos on all of those and evidently it it moves very nice of course the trim tab is not gonna move that much but anyhow this is uh, the, the trim tab after I finished drilling there is one more thing that I wanted to do to check it out and uh, we'll see how I'm gonna do it and now the the check that I wanted to do <laughs> um, I put the top skin of my trim tab I installed it with everything where it moves and everything just to see the position and with the trailing edge of the uh, rest of the elevator it, it my trim tab is out beyond the elevator itself by I would say about 30 thousands or so which I think at this point is is not too bad so uh, results are okay uh, I could not control drilling the whole location any more than that and um, if I make it any closer than that means the hinge that means the hinge have to go underneath the elevator and underneath the trim tab so I didn't want to do that and and risk any obstacles uh, in the middle of this but anyhow it moves good is very very close and I'm happy with that so I hope yours come out even better than that one more thing that I forgot about is uh, we're, we're talking about trimming this end the other end also have to be trimmed if you look really close you will find that this here is a little bit too much so we're gonna have to make a mark here and trim that all the way up uh, one nice thing that I done uh, after I did the trimming now this is the aft hinge we had to trim from this side and I just discovered that we have to trim from this side also so what I done after I trimmed this says deeper so what I've done is I put a nice radius over here and a nice radius over here and on the other side I deburred the whole thing and put a radius right here just to make it really look nice. So as far as the aft hinge is concerned we trimmed that part here and it matches pretty good and from the right side it matches pretty good and that radius came out really good too so that's it. Well, folks, this is it for this video, and uh, we'll close it up with that, uh, with a reminder, the finder's uh, fee form from Vans, you send this in with our number, builder's number, and my name, uh, hopefully we get a check from Vans, uh, and um, that check will go back to you if you order something 
from us uh, be a form of discount on your machines or whatever and if you had bought uh, any of our equipment we refund your credit card back now another reminder we have a sale going on right now with a good bit of savings because may 1st the original prices actually is going up our machines like going from from 600 original price to 700 original price now it's discounted to 550 uh, so this is please take advantage of that and the yokes too now comes May 1st this is going to go up uh, to 650 uh, as a sale the main price is going to be 700 but it will be on sale for another two weeks for 650 that's a hundred dollars more than what you can buy it for now between now and May 1st please take advantage of that because I've uh, the, the last sale after the sale ended I had so many people call me up and ask me uh, we missed the sale we missed the sale uh, and 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 there is not much I can do about it guys the price of steel is out of my hand um, the equipment the cutting tools the price of steel all the finishing stuff is, is became so expensive I can't I mean I, I hardly make any money at all and it is very very minimal I have to to sustain the business I have to raise the prices or there is no sense of of making the tools I'll just build my airplane <laughs> this is it for this video thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time